So I hear all the time that surrender work, letting go, is simple but not easy. And I just want to offer a thought about that not easy part. I think the reason why that's not easy is because we try too much. We try to spiritualize ourselves. We try to fix or heal ourselves. And there's resistance with that. And that's come, that comes from the mind. That's, that's the, the ego's aspect of trying to fix itself, which it doesn't want to happen. So there's natural resistance in that. So I think the, the aim with this work is to truly try to get out of your own way. And I think it's helpful to continue to cultivate an awareness of who we are, which is awareness itself. Meaning if we can hear our thoughts, then the thoughts are happening, their form, then we can observe that. What is that we part? What is that aspect that can see that and experience that and witness that, that is awareness. Same thing with the way that you're feeling. The feeling is impersonal. It's just something there. Maybe it's an entity, it's energy, it's um, who knows you know, where it came from exactly. It could have been generational, might have been in your DNA. It could have been something you picked up in the womb from your surroundings. It really doesn't matter. The fact is that if it feels uncomfortable initially, it's because um, there's some aspect of you that, that no longer resonates with that survival tactic or that survival program, which was put in place for your benefit. And it's just something that we carry from generation to generation to try to help us survive from the basic primary needs. So I think the best approach with this is to remind yourself to be gentle. And I often will say when I'm experiencing a sensation and I'm trying to be aware with it is just to remind myself to be gentle and curious. It's that gentleness that invites um, this higher intelligence to come in and help you. And I think it's all awesome to, um, to invite that, that, that greater aspect, whatever it is that you're connected to, maybe it's God, higher consciousness, um, the great spirit, whatever it might be, um, and ask for help and ask for it to be gentle. Um, because that aspect of healing is gentle. Love is gentle. It's never supposed to be rough. So if you find it rough going, uh, it's because you have resistance, because you're, you're labeling it, you're identifying it as something that needs to be fixed or healed, or there's something wrong with you, or that you shouldn't be experiencing these things, but you are. And so be gentle with yourself, observe what you're experiencing with curiosity, and ask for help. I think that's the best way to approach this. So it's not so hard.